a recruitment drive in Beni. They are gathered to sign up to a militia group to defend their town from the advancing M23. He said they will not let their town fall into rebel hands. It's now time to, uh, to have the technique of militaries and to defend our, our Beni territories. Beni is an important trading town and home to more than 230,000 people. Many of its residents welcome this latest effort to stop the armed group. This is a very good move from the youth. It needs to be supported by our authorities because of the threats we are facing. If I was young enough, I would have joined them. We are caught between two fights. From the north we have the M23 rebels advancing and then in the south the ADF rebels are killing our people. This initiative can help defend our town because we don't have another option. The Congolese government has been battling the M23 for more than a decade, but the latest escalation started in 2022. Kinshasa accuses Rwanda of backing the fighters, a claim Kigali denies strongly. The conflict has displaced millions of civilians from their homes. There is now fear that more could be uprooted. The city of Beni, like any other city located in the northeastern DRC, has been under the threat of the armed group for decades. And now people here in Beni are wondering what will be the difference between what the youth are trying to create here as a local defense group and to those former armed groups which has been accused of many abuses against civilians in this area. Alan Waikani, Al Jazeera, Beni, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.